The fighting between the Hamas and Israeli forces, which has been underway since 7th October 2023, has left at least 24,000 people dead. While this has been the focus for most speakers, at the just-concluded Nanalain Movement Summit, the President of the UN General Assembly, Dennis Francis, says the death toll is unacceptable. The situation in Gaza uh, is an extremely frustrating one. I think you know why. Uh, 25,000 innocent civilian lives lost. It's a, it's, a, it's a very impressive number for the wrong reasons. It's impressive because it is woefully and unacceptably large. Addressing the media, Dennis Francis said the UN is not responsible for the Gaza war, blaming it and other conflicts on decisions by countries which choose the path of war. The UN is not the problem. The UN seeks to be, sometimes to lead, but always to support the solution. Conflict and crisis and war are decisions. They're not necessarily inescapable decisions. There could have been other decisions. There could have been decisions for dialogue, for negotiation in several rounds. That did not happen. The point I'm making is war and peace are decisions that countries make for reasons best known to themselves. The UN General Assembly President expressed worry that a number of African countries are embroiled in conflict instead of moving towards development. It's very worrying, in fact, that Africa has again become uh, in the last um, five, eight years, an area of conflict, a zone of conflict. We had thought that that era was behind us. We had thought that coups in Africa was behind us. Uh, that, however, is not the case. He noted that the cost of conflict is huge in terms of loss of human lives and undermines development, maintaining that the best way to resolve conflict is dialogue and negotiations. The UN is committed to supporting African governments uh, and uh, working with the regional authorities in Africa, such as the African Union and others, um, to address these conflicts. Because we are aware that these conflicts provide opportunities for opportunistic operatives to pounce on them, complicate them with further implications for peace and stability across the, the, the region. The President of the UN General Assembly has also lauded Uganda for its open-door policy on refugees. Uganda is currently home to over 1.5 million refugees. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV Weekend Edition.